I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. What about the crown? Is it finished? I'm a man of my word. Of course it's finished. Here you have it. Such a shame you couldn't find the Moldavite. It's rather lackluster without it. God be with you. Yeah. Yeah. Father, Vincent of Merhoyed sent me to you. What's the matter, my son? I'm bringing Vincent's last will and testament. Almighty Father, be merciful. What happened? Master Vincent has been taken seriously ill. A disease has spread in Merhoyed. Yes, I did hear that people are sick in some village hereabouts. God in heaven! But Vincent is still alive? Yes. For now. Let us hope the good Lord will be here with us longer. Thank you for bringing it to me. If Vincent passes on, I'll see to his wishes. Here, take a few coins for your trouble. Thank you, Father. Good luck to you.
Welcome, Henry. The Lord save you. What do you need? I brought the roan, my lady. That's wonderful. There weren't any problems with it, I hope. Nothing too serious. He's a little wild, but I was able to handle him in the end. Well, that won't do. Sophie can't have some wild horse at her wedding starting a stampede. But I've learnt a trick. If you sing to him, he calms down. You sang to a horse? It's quite true, I'm afraid. I sang to a horse. Well, then you'll have to sing something to me, too. My lady, I, I don't know if I... So I know how to calm down that roan. Go ahead, sing. Um. <coughs> Two horses come roaming in the merry month of May To graze in the shade of the apple tree there uh, The first one is brown and the second is grey Which shall I ride to my maiden so fair? Oh, how beautiful! I'm not surprised the horse calmed down after hearing such a lovely voice. Anyway, I'll think about what to do with the roan. But thank you, Henry. I brought the wine. Wonderful, wonderful. No wedding is complete without good wine. Find somewhere here to put it down. I'll send for a servant to bring it later. I hope you had no problems acquiring it. Let's just say that when I got to the merchant, my task had only just begun. But you were able to handle it. Thank you so much, Henry. I brought you the crown from the master engraver. Henry, you are a gem. Wait, there was supposed to be a large Moldavite placed here. What's this? The Moldavite got lost along the way from Prague. I arranged for it to be replaced with something else. Ah, I understand. Even so, Henry, I'd prefer to decide on such matters myself. So, what's next? What can I do for you, my lady? Nothing. You've done enough. And now I'd like to reward you. That's not necessary, my lady. You taking the time to see me is reward enough. Come now, Henry. No need for such modesty. I appreciate everything you've done for me. As well as your company. And there's something I'd like to give you. This shirt was my father's. He was built very much like you. Broad shoulders, strong chest. It should fit you just right. But... But I can't accept this. It's too valuable. It's too valuable to be left to the mercy of moths. It doesn't fit my husband well, and I've no one else to give it to. What's more, if you were to leave us again, I'd like you to have something to remember me by, so you don't forget me. I could never forget you, my lady. Well then, won't you try it on at least? What? Right now? Why not? Don't worry, I won't look. I'll turn my back. And what if your husband comes in? He won't. Neither will anyone else. All right then. Goodbye. I feel truly blessed to have you here. So long I yearned for young company. I really feel God heard my prayers. Are ready? My, you do look handsome. As fine as any gentleman. 
When I was a little girl, there were always lots of other children around and young men and women of the court. It was so merry. I always hoped it would be like that when I was grown up too. But it was not God's plan. You and Sir Divish had no children? No. No, alas, we, we were not blessed. Twice I was with child, but they did not live. And now I fear there's no hope for me. My lady. Forgive me, my lady. I, I shouldn't have. I don't mind. Yeah. Yeah.
God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I've returned from Merhoyed, sir. How does it look, then? I brought them help from the monastery. Brother Nicodemus and Yahanka from Skalitz. Fortunately, Nicodemus was able to cure the disease. Well, at least what he's doing looks promising so far. Thank Christ. Some good news for a change. What about the captain? Did you question him? He was infected too. I see. Did he survive? No, but even Deddy was of some use. It seems that bandit was a messenger. He was carrying a letter. That's interesting. And what's in the letter? Take a look for yourself, sir. Hmm. The names of the sender and recipient aren't written there, just the initials S and T. Seems to have some quarrel between them. This S person is threatening to finish with counterfeiting. Apparently, there's some German knight on the trail of the merchant Menhart. At the time the letter was written, the knight was in the tavern in Sassau asking about him. That sounds like a promising lead. You go to Sassau and find out what you can about this foreign knight. If he really is following Menhart, then he must know more than we do. Very well, sir. Don't go yet. There's something I'd like to talk to you about. See you later. You haven't disappointed me. Nothing against Bernard, Robard, or any of those others. But none of them could find out as much as you. At least not without beatings and torture. And that doesn't always work. You're a godsend, lad. Thank you, sir. Now go and find out who's behind everything, and then we'll deal with them. Yes, sir. Sir. What is it? Sometimes I ask myself what, what it all means. Why does God allow such things to happen? All this slaughter and revenge, over and over. It's a hard question. I'm no theologian. But long ago I came to the conclusion that the only thing that makes sense is that it's all a trial. Life is one long series of problems to solve. The more you solve, the better a man you become. I never thought about it that way. Well, just look at the pampered ones who have no concerns in life, like young Lord Capon, for instance. I shudder to think how he will rule when his time comes. Tribulations spawn in life over and over again, and we must stand our ground and face them. So, I go to Sasso and solve this one. Hmm? You can rely on me, sir. Son.
What are you doing here? Get lost before something nasty happens to you. Hey, what are you doing here? You're in the wrong place. Yeah. <laughs> I'll wipe my arse with you. <laughs> oh, you got. Come here, little Oh, yeah. 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 I've heard there's a foreign knight staying here. That Deutscher? He's gone. He said he'll be back. Did he give his name? No, um, frankly, he wasn't the type you want to ask twice. Why is that? There are guests I like, and then there's those as keep me awake at night. This knight is a good payer. But he spends a whole day tweaking his whiskers and sizing everyone up for a fight. I don't have bloodshed in my establishment. Did you see his crest? That's just it. He arrived with a white shield, nothing on it, and the Wagners tell me that's how knights ride when they want to stay incognito. That is very odd. And do you know where he went? Yes, he asked me the way. Or demanded more like. Master scared me so much I almost forgot to ask him to pay. But you remember it in the end, eh? Well, business is business. And where was it he wanted to go? Well, he asked me about crossroads in the woods north of Rovna. I got the impression he was looking for something. I know the roads that way. So I advised him to try looking at the charcoal burners junction. I see. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. But may I ask why you're looking for him? I wish I knew that myself. Ah, it's just that the gentlemen look quite formidable and quite questionable. I'd hate to think I'd sold him out. I wouldn't fret about that.